Mr. Speaker, for over 1,700 days, the administration has delayed the Keystone XL pipeline application. According to a Pew Research poll, two-thirds of the American people from both political parties support the project. Last night, there was a bipartisan vote to promote the pipeline from Canada, America's best energy partner. The completion of the Keystone XL pipeline will create 120,000 jobs and produce 830,000 barrels of oil each day, helping to grow our economy. Two years ago, I had the opportunity to visit Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada, and I witnessed firsthand the Canadian oil sands and positive impact that exploration has for American families. In South Carolina's second congressional districts, companies like Michelin Tire Corporation of Lexington and MTU Detroit Diesel of Aiken County will create jobs due to the Keystone's production. As the American people and a bipartisan Congress support it, let's create jobs and build the Keystone pipeline. In conclusion, God bless our troops and will never forget September 11th and the global war on terrorism. Our sympathy to our British allies in this war who were cowardly attacked at the Royal Artillery Bar Barracks in London yesterday.